Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the newest matchup of the 2022 Elkhart County Historical Museum Collections Tournament. Get excited, people, because you're going to see a whole lot of this face in this matchup because it's finally my bracket. I get to present one of the matchups, and today we have a good one. I have a, co a cornet made by the CG Con Company, specifically made by the Stenberg Brothers, going up against a photo of the Lakeshore and Michigan Sh Southern Railroad Machine Shop. That is a mouthful. You're going to hear me say that a few other times. Hopefully, I can say it more clear when I present these items. So, I'll have two minutes to present each item, one of the cornet and one of the photo. You're going to hear some really great histories, and then you're going to get to vote. So... Let's send it out to me, probably looking a little bit different to hear about these items. All right, everyone, here's one of my items in the first matchup. It's this photo right here, and this is a photo of the Lakeshore and Michigan Southern Railroad Machine Shop. Now, this machine shop was built in Elkhart in 1871, and when it was built, it was the largest railroad machine shop in the world. So that's a pretty big deal for Elkhart. At the time, the, you could roll in 26 locomotives and anything could be done from simple repairs to full-on replacement parts. You could tear down a locomotive and rebuild it all in this shop. And the question that we're going to talk about in this video is why Elkhart for the largest machine shop in the world? And the reason was, was its distance from Chicago. So Elkhart's about 100 miles from Chicago, and Elkhart became the staging area for r the railroads and the trains before they would go to Chicago and then spread to the western part of the United States. So the reason the machine shop was here is simple. As trains were moving, e or moving west, they'd stop here in Elkhart, they would get any repairs that they needed, they needed any resupply, they would switch off railroad crews, really anything they needed to get ready because once they got to Chicago, it was loading up and getting ready and then out to different parts of the country. And Chicago was that main hub. So Elkhart was extremely important. So that's why all the trains that were moving west came to Elkhart before they would go to Chicago. And that's why this machine shop was here. Now the machine shop was important for lots of other reasons too. And if we get it to the Elite Eight, we're gonna talk about the impact it had culturally on the city of Elkhart. So vote for the machine shop photo. It's a really great story. So for the next item that I chose in the tournament, I chose this cornet made by the CG Con Company. Now the Con Company was the most well-known musical instrument company in Elkhart and also the leader of the county's first internationally known uh, industry because it started in the 1870s by Charles Gerard Kahn and lasted a number of years. Now I picked this, this cornet for a few different reasons. First, it's a tie to the very origins of the Kahn Company because the first instrument that Kahn, the Kahn Company made were cornets. They started making cornets in 1874. In fact, we have one of those early versions actually right in the case behind me. I know it might be a little more challenging to see, but come to the museum and see it. Now this was made later when the Kahn Company was already internationally known and famous for the work that they did. So this cornet really highlights what they were known for and it's the really meticulous ornamentation and engraving. Uh, you could get cornets and really all musical instruments that were made by the Kahn Company with really fine detailed illustrations, whether it was presidents, eagles. This particular one says made in Elkhart, Indiana. So uh, it's showing some local pride. So it's a really great uh, example of the engraving that was done at the Kahn Company. So much so that in 1911, there was a French musical instrument maker that came here and he said, and he was quoted as saying, this is not just a factory, this is a jewelry shop. And this cornet is a really great example. What other, the other reason this is a great example is the engravers that could have made this, and that's the Stenberg brothers, Charles and Julius, who was also known as Doc. They had a really long history in musical instruments, and we will reveal that story if you move this cornet onto the next round. So don't forget, vote for the cornet. All right, there you have it. You've heard the history of these two items, the cornet and the photo you have to decide which one's going on. 
either on the museum's Facebook page or the park's YouTube page, watch these videos. By now, if you've been watching the tournament, you know how to vote. Just leave a comment on which items you want to see move on to, move on to the Elite Eight. There's some great items here. There's some great history. The further it goes, the more history you'll hear. So, which one of these items is going to move on in my bracket? Hopefully, one of these is going to go all the way to the championship, and then I can reign supreme over my staff members. So, watch these videos, cast your vote, pick who's going to go to Elite Eight. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.